Hey friends, on today's video, I'm gonna show you the easy way to export your project right here in GarageBand to a shareable file to give to your friends, to upload to SoundCloud, or any other place where you wanna share your music. Let's get into it. Okay, so you spent quite a bit of time creating a great project, and obviously I'm using a, just an easy sample version here with just a single track. Uh, yours is probably going to look a lot more complicated, but the export process will be exactly the same. Once you're happy with your track, you're ready to let it go, all we need to do now is select the type of file that we want to share. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our menu, and we're going to go to this little share menu. And as you can see, there's a lot of different options for us to choose from. So we can actually share the song directly to our Apple Music, or we can go straight to SoundCloud by clicking this option. We can do an airdrop, an email version, that's really easy. Or what we can do is come down here and export the song to disk. This is probably gonna be the easiest because it'll create a file on your Mac that you can then share anywhere that is best for you. So I'm gonna come and do that, click on export song to disk. Okay, now we'll go ahead and title our project. I'm just gonna do test on this one. You can put some tags if you need to, and then we're gonna select the area of our laptop where we want it to go to. In this case, I'm just gonna have it go to my desktop. And then basically, we can choose what type of file we wanna bounce this to. Now, WAV files, AAC files are gonna be really, really high quality. MP3 is going to be more of the one you want if you want to share it easily across multiple platforms. So we can do uh, MP3 on this one. We can actually click this uh, down menu and get a whole bunch of options here. You can do real low quality if you just need it to get to somebody fast for a draft mode. Or you can come down here and use the highest quality. And this is going to be best if you're able to share those files across some place like Google Drive or someplace that supports really large files. I'm going to choose the highest version here. And then we can come down here and we can just click the export button. As you can see, as soon as we do that, it starts exporting directly to our desktop. So it'll take just a sec here after it bounces to convert to an MP3, and then we should have that file directly on our desktop. Friends, I hope this has helped. If it has, would you guys hit that thumbs up button? It lets us know we're making helpful videos. And stay tuned, you may want to subscribe because we're making a bunch more GarageBand tutorials, and those are coming out really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again on the next one.